Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we went through some kind of crazy time portal thing, whatever. And now we're in, like, Kamiki Village of the Past. And they think that I'm Shirinui, or... A, just, um, they think that I'm a disciple of fucking Orochi. Which we all know is not true. Anyways, is this Susano over here or no? Wait. Well, it looks kind of like Susano. You know what? If Susano's a descendant... I bet you that's the guy that Susano's a, de a descendant of. That's probably who that is. That's probably who that is. I forget his name off the top of my head, but that's probably who that is. Who the fuck was the guy that Susan was a descendant of? A descendant of... A descendant of... A descendant of... Shit. Can't remember the name. Why can't I remember his name? Because back in the day, it was Shiranui and the warrior guy who defeated Orochi. Like, I remember the story, but I don't remember his name. Why don't I remember his name? Why can't I remember his name? Guys, why can't I remember his name? Can't I remember his name? I don't know why I can't remember his name. Oh, well. No matter. You, wake up, fool. Zazazazaza, I am the greatest. <laughs> Pops hasn't changed a bit. Changed a bit. I'm still the great Nami. Who the fuck is Nami? Don't tell me this bonehead's cheating on Kushi. Uh, different, different, uh, yeah. How dare he research a Kushi like that? Go on, Ami, give him a good knock upside the head. You know what? I think I will. Wake up, bitch! What the? Huh? Alright, here we go. Uh, I slept like a log. I must have dozed off. Training to defeat that no good Shiranui. Wait. I thought he worked with Shirinui. What? Huh? Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm Nagi, the greatest warrior ever. Nagi, that's it. Okay, I knew it was something simple. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y you're Shirinui! You still dreaming or something, Pops? I mean, greatest warrior ever. Give me a break. You brought along a little pea-sized monster this time. Well, I have you now, Shirinui, you monster. Monster? Come on, Pops, wake up. You must still be dreaming, sucker. And what's with this Shirinui business? Are you still obsessed with the past? The past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon. Tonight is the night when to become a, I mean, the, when the moon waxes to its fullest. It marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? You don't say. Wait a second. What the heck's going on? This sinister air. That jerk Orochi must be stirring. How's that possible? That's impossible. Huh. Too late to feign innocence, Shirinui. We know you come each year to size up Orochi's human sacrifice. But this time, things are going to be different. I, Nagi, shall put an end to your devilish work. Orochi? Nagi? No. It can't be. Right, Amy? I mean... Spirit Gate couldn't have possibly sent us back to the Kamiki Village a hundred years in the past, could it? Um, I think it certainly might have. Okay, are we really gonna have to fight fucking Nagi right now? Um, okay. Nagi, I'm sorry, but this is happening right now. We're actually trying out a new weapon I haven't used, the sword that I bought. Oh shit, okay. You wanna fuck, you wanna fuck around? You wanna fuck around, show you wanna fuck around, okay. Alright. Alright. Ooh, got wrecked though. Get wrecked though. You wanna fucking you wanna play games? I got this fucking infinity symbol unlocked, bitch. That didn't do a damn thing. But you know what? Whatever, it was fun. What if I try a little bit of that wind action? Woo! Go around. That didn't do a damn thing. Okay, what if I try. Um, what else do I have that's fun? Oh, well, we can just chop them right now. Um, what else do I have that I can have fun, a little bit of fun with? You know what? I got an idea. Have one of these. Boom, sucker! Oh, damn, that was just mean. That was just mean. 
sorry. Nagi. Uh-oh, you knocked him out cold. Wonder what's going on. I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. I thought he was Suzuno. Then again, he looks just like the statue of Nagi in the village. Huh. Had five in the village and the villagers' reactions. Yeah. You starting to put it together now, dude? And now this big old full moon. Now I'm positive. You really did go back to Kamiki Village a hundred years in the past. I get it now. Everybody thought Shira knew he came to the village. Before the festival to size up the next sacrifice. They thought Shira knew he was Orochi's familiar or something. So that's why he called you Shira Nui and wanted to fight you. Hey, wait a second. Where's the real Shira Nui then? Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope our coming here hasn't totally messed up history. Or maybe we're going to have a weird like time loop moment where this is actually what happened. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird like that. Anyway, huh? Look, the villagers are all gathered in front of his house. Okay, please come out. We need your help. So do we once again roam our village. It seeks to size up Orochi's next victim. Rah, rah, rah. The moon is at his fullest tonight. And the dreaded Orochi. It's on his way to eat my Wuman. Or the Wuman. The sacrifice. Uh oh. Hirochi san! Run! Everybody run! Uh oh, there he is. Don't. I hope this game better not make me fight Orochi again, dude. That battle took so long. I don't want to fight Orochi again right now. Oh man, am I gonna have to do the Orochi voice too? That's just gonna kill me. Sorry, I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, he shoots the arrow. What? Oh, he's about to hit the water with it. Oh, fuck. Okay. You know whose house. Guess who? The Custard Arrow has walked the home of Chosen Maiden. This will be the hundredth maiden since this terrible fight began. Most of our villagers suffer such tragedy yet again. Poor Nami, you think we end up having to send you to that piece? Sorry, you're dead. <laughs> What's she gonna say? What's she gonna say? What are you gonna say, girl? What you got to say? What you got to say for yourself? I believe in you, Nagi. You have trained long and hard to slay the dreaded Orochi. I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in the Moon Cave. I know you will put an end to Orochi and this dreadful rite. I'm going to change it to the white sacrificial robe. Please, everyone, go hide in your homes. It is not safe out here. Okay. Okay. Well, let me get my money real quick for whooping the shit I actually didn't think we were going to get a, pr a freaking prize for kicking the shit out of Nagi. That's hilarious. Ah, that Orochi. I'm sick of him and his antics. Huh? Hey, wait. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You know, the legend says Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed and then slew the dreaded Orochi. But how's he going to do that if he's out cold right here? This is going to change history itself. What are we going to do, man? We'll have to look like... Look for Lika later. We gotta think of something quick. Mm, well, I guess we sh should make sure things go just like in the legend. That means we'll have to dress up Nagi like the maiden. Oh my god. Oh, I know. Nami said she was gonna go change into the white sacrificial robe. We gotta swipe that robe and put on on a Nagi. Then get him over to Orochi's place. That should be more or less fulfilled. That should more or less fulfill the legend. At least I hope it will. Anyway, we better hurry before Nami takes off. Let's go swipe that white sacrificial robe. Are we about to have like a, a quick sexy time cutscene right now in an Okami game? That's weird. Anyway, as we, like as we swipe a robe from a girl who's trying to change into it right now. Um, wait, what the hell is that? Oh, what the hell? What? Hold on, hold on a sec. Look, look at that, Amy. Oh, that's Nami. Hello, she's bathing in the lake. And look, the white sacrificial robe's there for the taking. 
Hey, what's with the glowing barrel of sake? You think it could be the eight purification sake? Uh-oh. Uh, wow, they even had side boob. Weird. Keep it down, Furball. Nami must be purifying herself before putting on the robe. Pretty noble of her, considering Orochi's gonna gobble her up. I bet it's her devotion that made the legendary eight purification sake. If I could just get up in close view of her like this, I'd... 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 <laughs> anyway, this is our big chance, Amy. Let's snag her white official sacrificial robe while she's busy bathing. You ready? We have to do it slowly. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow. She'll never see it coming. Way to go, Amy. The white sacrificial robe is ours. Now, let's get to that Nagi into this thing. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> Wow. Well, it was only almost sexy time. If I stared at her for longer, maybe. Um, so this is a straight up Back to the Future situation. We have to recreate the past to make sure we don't fuck up the present. Fucking Back to the Future all of a sudden. Anyway, okay, we got the rope. Now all we gotta do is get Pops here into it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Doesn't he look pretty? Now Nagi can pretend to be the maiden sent to be sacrificed. This should be just like the legend said. Right, Amy? Not bad if I say so myself. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's take him over to the moon cave before he wakes up. After all, he's all dressed up for his date with his destiny. Oh, wow. This is happening right now? Oh, my God. Okay. What happens if we go say, say what's up to the girl while we have him on our back? <gasps> I actually want to see. I don't know if this is going to spoil anything, but let's see. Eh, Nagi, what are you doing with Shernui there? Oh. Oh, stop messing around like that, Amy. History's gonna get all mixed up if you don't do this right. Oh, my bad. My bad. I didn't mean to fucking make make everything go into a wormhole because I fucked it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, there's a shop guy here. You, what do you sell? Huh? That perfect white coat. Those razor sharp eyes. You must be sure to eat. Well, someone help me. I don't taste good. I'm a terrible sacrifice. What the heck? Do you think you're gonna eat him or something? He does, he does look kind of plump, though. I'm as plump as a dumpling, but I'm poisonous. Yes, poisonous. Look, I'll sell you anything you want. Please spare me. Okay. Here. Let me sell some stuff in the past. Maybe you guys can, like, save it for the future. It'll uh, it'll appreciate you guys to make some more money, you know? Isn't that how it works? Just make sure you invest some fucking money in the stock market or whatever. Um, He's got shit I already... Oh, wait. No, I don't have these. I don't have enough money to buy those either. But I could probably have enough if I sell some shit. I wonder if I can only buy it here in the past. That makes me want to make sure I get it now for sure. Um, what did I sell last time to get, make some extra money? I think I was selling these a exorcism slips, huh? Yeah, I have like a bunch of these ones that I don't really need. I'm going to sell like 10 or 10 of them. I'm going to sell like 6 of them? Not quite enough. How about that? Now I got enough. Alright, resurrection beads for the win. Yeah, yeah, there goes all my money again. It's alright. It's alright. That's what you buy all that shit for, man. You buy it all just to have all the weapons. Ah. <sighs> Okay, Shinshu Field from a hundred years ago. Can we explore it like normal, or are we just going straight for the moon cave? So this is Shinshu Field a hundred years ago. Hey, you've given a piggyback ride to the moon... Given... Yes, yes I have. But it, it was that babe Kushi last time. The view, not to mention the smell, was a whole lot better then. I'm not sure I'm liking this whole going back to the past business. Oh shit, a bunch of trees. Hell yeah. Let's circle some trees, man. Okay, let's circle no trees, man. Okay, can I circle a tree for the love of God? Jesus. Even if it only gives me one, man, every follower matters. Every follower matters. That's what I tell myself every day. Every follower matters. These trees are being difficile. Stop being difficile, trees. You know loud to me. God forking me. What the f- Stop doing wind. Jesus. Okay, we got some extra followers. Cool with that. Oh god, another enemy? You know it. What the hell is that thing? Fucking Gumby monster? Kicking me out, man. Quit dancing around, you weirdo. Quit it. You weirdo. Time to whoop ass. Oh shit, it's a whole crew of. It's a crew! It's a whole crew, man. Alright, you need to stop blocking me, sir. That's not allowed. Just putting that out there, that is not allowed. Sir. I'm gonna piss on you real quick. Thank you. 
you're gonna, do you think you can block? Alright. Alright. So yeah, I see that your futile efforts are in vain, sir. You know, you pissed on. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Piss on. Can we just kill this one real quick? Oh, yeah. Piss on. Pissed on him real quick. Oh, give, me, give me that real quick. Alright, now we fuck him up. Eat up. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I just defeated all of those gumbays. Just eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. Okay, so. It looks like there's still stuff around here, which is interesting. Note. Since we're here in the past, you might as well explore now. I don't even know if this is like I don't have no idea if this is like a one-time thing in this whole area. This is like the area looks different. In fact it does look different. There's a whole lot that's different about this. A lot of things can change in a hundred years, clearly. Um yeah, cause this whole area over here was way different. Is it different because it's the past or is it different because I don't know. I don't know. It's just different because it doesn't want to. They don't want the game to make, let me do all the crazy shit I was able to do before. It's just got an edge of the world type of feel to it, which is fine. It means I don't have to fully explore everything, so I won't. Instead, I will just look around to see if there's any other random treasure laying around, or dig spots, or whatever, or whatever you call it. Okay, Ooh, one of these. Okay. We'll chop that just fine. And dig it up. Yeah, yeah. Glad we have Power Slash number two, even if I don't have the third one yet. As long as we have the second one and we can get that, that makes me a happy guy. Happy guy indeed. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, shit. Well, find some more Gumby Monster. Here we go. Gumby! Gumbe yo koi choi! Gumbe yo koi! Get wrecked, Gumbe! Alright! Fucking own! Bratch! Bratch! Yeah! Those guys get a lot of money, too. I like it. Anyway, I was gonna check before I go up there, because I think that's where I need to go. I was gonna see if this leads anywhere, because I'm stupid and I should have checked a little more closely the first time. I was thinking that this was the way to the moon cave, but no. This. Arch actually led somewhere else before. But where? Wait, what? Oh, the heck? Just ran right by that like I didn't see it. Silver pocket watch, huh? Huh. Interesting. I think that might actually be a new treasure that I don't already have one of, so that's cool. Filling up that treasure tome, though. Alright, now we can go up here. No problem. God damn it, why don't you just let me jump straight? Damn it. Oh, I thought we were going to fight again. Dude, go run faster. I don't care if you have a fat-ass Nagi on your back, dude. Run faster. Anyway, is there anything else going on over here where there was an old man's house who used to teach his moves? What do you mean he wasn't alive 100 years ago? Now he didn't even have an ancestor over here 100 years ago? I find that hard to believe. Hard to believe. I accidentally skipped the edge of the circle. That was so dumb. Circle! Why am I singing what do you why am I singing what do you mean? This is no this is no time. This is no time. The problem is I just finished watching uh, the old playthrough of, from Nintendo Pre Sun where he played Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, the one I just finished up. I finally finished watching his playthrough of it and my god it was amazing. His reactions are hilarious to everything, way more than I could ever be. Um, but I realized how many times do characters say, what do you mean? While I was watching it, they say it like a million times. Wow. I mean, I remember them saying it when I was playing, but when you watch somebody else play it, you realize it even more. You're like, Jesus. A lot of characters say, what do you mean? Obviously right now, because it's a popular song, or at least it was recently, it's stuck in my head every time somebody says, what do you mean? I'm going to go Justin Bieber for a second, because I'm fucking... Walking, talking cliche man over here. Anyway, let's dig, 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 dig. Get all the fucking followers you can. Because like I said, once we once we make the pass the way it should be, I think we probably shouldn't fuck with anything else. Just get as much as you can out of this. Get all the followers you can. Do the things. Do all the things. Can't go over to where 
Taka Pass or whatever the forest is called, Agata Forest. Can't go there. It's fine. This is how it should be. Minimalized version of the big ass shit you feel. Less detail. Very nice. Very well done. But we're bouts. We go to that moon cave, yo. Are you excited? I know I am. I'm just not excited to the fact that I'm probably going to fight Orochi again. If I do have to fight him again, is it going to be the same fucking neat elemental battle that we had to do last time? That shit took so long. That battle took forever. Are we really going to have to do that again? I mean, it's not a big deal. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to want to. Do we have to go through the moon cave again, too? Like, a whole dungeon and shit? Because that was a thing, too. We had to go through a whole dungeon to get to it. Maybe he's not chilling all the way deep into the dungeon this time. You know he is. Maybe he'll skip all that shit and just put me at the end of the dungeon. I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is that I am cleaning out this field before we go in there. Because I like the muns and I like the followers. Speaking of followers, I think I'm probably going to do a level up here in a second. Because I have a lot of followers from this little trip alone. I'm at 438 or 449 because that gave me more than one. Okay, what do I want to do? Let's see. I can do the one more of these, or I can do the more pouch holding. Um, let's go ahead and just do another one of these. That way we can start filling up another one. Because by the time we fill that one up, we're probably already going to be have enough to level up the, per the purse again. I don't know if I'll ever have enough money to fill up the purse, so I'm not even tripping off that one like at all. But, and having an extra astral pouch when we're starting to close in on the end of this game, I'm thinking probably a good idea just in case something ends up being way harder than I expected to be. You know what I mean. Anyway, Moon Cave, here I come, biatch. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come to Moon Cave. Oh, shit, we can run across the water. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's a purpose to doing that. Just thought maybe they would like confine me to the path, but no. You can run along the water, that's fancy. Alright, I'm gonna save it. Just to be on the uh, safe side, because I don't want to lose power. I don't want to have to redo all that fucking that fucking exploration again and shit. I don't have to do that shit again. You know what? We still haven't got that 13th brush technique, man. The game can't end until then. And I'm wondering when we're going to get it, and how, and what is it even going to be? Like, is it going to be super awesome? Because, how many more freaking power-ups? Like, what other possible power could I possibly have? Also, another new battle enemy, right? Right? Am I right? Looks like it. Hey, look, it's... Oh! One of these kind of statues. These guys are not big-eyed and creepy at all. Okay. Bring it, bitch. One of these kind of statues. More like more than one. All right, you know what? I got an idea for y'all. I got an idea for y'all. I got you guys a present. It goes kaboom, bitch. Ooh, ooh, that was nice. That was real nice. Oh, shit. Now they're all teleporting and shit. You know what? You know what I have to say about that? Another one. Kaboom, bitch. You know what I to say about that? I'm going to fucking... I'm going. I don't know. I, You know, for as much as I've had... For as long as I've had bombs, I get to utilize them in battle until just now, today. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know. That was cool. I fucking wrecked the shit out of those guys. And I got a golden peach out of it. Hell yeah. Blew some motherfuckers up. 20k yen. Wreck shop. Got some cherry blossom fucking fucking fucks. I'm happy about it. Alright. Anyways. Are we really gonna have to carry this fucker through the whole damn dungeon? I guess it's possible. Actually, the moon cave was much different, right? We went in and then we got like trapped immediately, and we had to like go through enemy areas, like disguised as one of his minions. Isn't that what happened last time? Anyway, huh? There's no barrier this time. Adorochi must think no one would dare come in here. We should still be careful, no matter how unprepared that snake is. I mean, if you think about it, you managed to slay Orochi a hundred years ago, but you died too. And you were at your peak back then. 
Legend says you appeared each year around the time of the sacrifice. Back then, you were called Shiranui and were said to be a monster. So how come you didn't just go get rid of Orochi right away? Well, I suppose you had your reasons. But I bet it made Orochi think you were a big fat chicken. Uh oh, he's gonna wake up now. Hello. Huh? Hello. What? Huh? Huh? Where am I? <laughs> what in the world? Why am I wearing this? Hey, Pops, you finally came too! Now you can pretend to be the human sacrifice and slay Orochi. Then Nami will fall for you big time, man. What are you talking about? Oh, yes, of course. I am not the greatest warrior who ever lived! Self proclaimed, of course. Uh oh. Araji! That when darkness falls. Brace yourself, Amy. Here it comes! The darkness! Oh, jeez. Araji! Oh, damn. Snatch that maiden, though. Well, then. Guess we're gonna chase him in to. Well, what the? Okay. Wah wah. What? That didn't seem to work out too well, did it? Looks like Orochi can taste the difference between man and maiden. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, well, this is it, Amy. Psych yourself up. We're about to face Orochi in peak condition. What do you mean? We don't have all the brush. We're missing a brush technique, though. We're not in peak condition. I mean, we are, but we aren't, right? Like, we're missing a brush technique. Alright, welcome to the moon cave. From a hundred years ago. Oh, look. I think the sake got left behind. Isn't that nice? Yay for sake! Oh, yeah. Look, Amy. The sake barrel. Bitchin'. You obtained eight purification sake. Too bad Orochi didn't drink it down when he tried to eat pops. But I guess things are never that easy. Still, it ain't over till it's over. I mean, victory's still up for grabs, ain't it? You're damn right it is. I'm, I, I, I get the feeling we're gonna get a twist where Orochi thinks that Ami is Shiranui and Shiranui was actually, like, or the twist being that Shiranui w actually was a disciple of Orochi. And for some reason he turned on him. Like, sir, I don't know. Like, Shiranui turned on Ami. Or the other twist is that Ami is a Shiranui and. I don't know, some kind of fucking John Connor bullshit where he, the future one came to the past and all that kind of shit. Anyway, hey, isn't that. Oki? Oh, that's right, he went through the door too. I almost forgot about that. Like, an evil power. Oh, didn't I make it. You know what I just remembered? Didn't I make his voice like he was wearing a mask? I completely forgot about that. That was like so many episodes ago now. Mm. An evil power lured me to this cave. And now that you're also here, there can be no doubt. This must be Orochi's stronghold. Well, here you are. Time to get fucking wrecked, son. Wait, what? Huh? Amy, there's someone passed out over there. Oh no, it's Lika. Is that who it is? Oh my god, dude, this is all fucked up now. Are we really gonna have- Do we really have to fight Orochi again right now? Is this happening? Like, is this gonna be the same shit we did last time? Oh my god. It is gonna be the same shit as last time, except for watch, it's gonna be harder. Great. Fucking great. So this is the dreaded Orochi. Amy. This time's real the real deal. Remember, you just barely managed to slay Orochi at your peak. And in the end, you died too. Fools! How dare you stand in my way! I shall claim my 100th sacrifice and become a god of the underworld.
then I shall bring eternal darkness upon all the land. But first, you shall pay for defiling my dark sanctuary. I am a stranger to these lands. Your words mean nothing to me. Now, Kutone shall feast on your blood. That should be more than enough to fulfill its need. Uh oh, here we go. Double wolf battle. No, Oki, wait! Mika's on Orochi's back! I care not. For Orochi will be my ultimate offering. To the sacred, sacred sword, Kutone will devour the beast down to the very mar marrow in its bones. Okay, Kutone. Hey! This is bad. The Saki's not even ready yet, man. Well, it's ready now. Here we go. 